Today, we will be creating our own adventure in Python. We will need to find the gold by going through a series of paths that you will create yourself. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video to see the results. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to NP Station and click on that notification bell so you can get regular updates when I post a new video. But now, let's begin our Python adventure. Hey y'all and welcome back to NP Station. So today we are going to be creating our own treasure hunt in Python. But before we begin, make sure to check out my other previous videos in this mini project series. Our previous project was a rock creating a rock paper scissors game in Python, which was super fun. We also created a quiz game and our first mini project was making a clock in Python. So all these activities were really cool to create, so please do check them out. But today, we are going to be going on a treasure hunt in Python. So our goal here is to be, we're going to go on an adventure, and our goal is to find some gold. So to actually start playing the game, <laughs> we will need to type in the code. So first, we're going to put in name equals input. Name equals input. And in parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and type, or type in, type your name. So the player is going to type in their name here. And once they do that, we'll print out a statement saying, welcome name to this adventure. Now that we're done with those two lines of code, we'll move on and say answer equals input. And in the parentheses here, we need to type in like how our adventure is going to first start off. So how about um, maybe you are on a dirt road. On a dirt road, um, it has come to an end. So you, and you can go left or right you can go left or right so we're gonna ask the player which way would you like to go so I'm gonna make sure to add a space after the question mark so the player has some space to put in their answer and if you watch my um, previous mini project videos you know that this dot lower at the end that I've added here will convert whatever the player has typed into lowercase okay so go ahead and click um, enter and now we need to put in our first if statement and by first i mean that there's going to be a lot more if statements in this mini project that we'll be typing in so if answer is equal to left make sure to add in two equal signs there um, then answer equals input and in parentheses, we need to type in what is going to happen to the player if they choose to go left, right? So how about maybe, um, oh, how about the player comes to a river? So you come to a river and um, you can walk around it, right? Walk around it or swim across. So which... Or like types, I'm going to make it clear to the user on what to type here. So type swim to swim across and walk to walk around. There we go. And I'm going to add a colon in there. Okay, and again, I'm just going to add in dot lower. All right, great. So now um, go ahead and click enter and make sure you're still in this um, if statement for going left because we want to stay in there because we're going to put in um, if answer is equal to swim, right? And we also need if answer is equal to walk. Okay, so what's going to happen here? We need to print out a statement saying to the user um, or the player what happens if they swim. So let's just say you swim across the river and how about there's alligators in this river so and you got eaten let me spell that correctly you got eaten by an alligator so in this case you would lose okay so now we need an elif answer is equal to um what was the other one walk 
right? So if they choose to walk around it, then what's going to happen here? How about, um, so you walked for a long time or for many miles. Yeah, you walked for many miles and you got tired or um, and you ran out of water. So you lose. Okay, so I'm just going to make it as so if the whole option of choosing left would be the incorrect answer. So even if they choose left and um, both swim and walk would be the incorrect answer, so they would lose no matter what. So let's get out of this um, if statement for going left. Now we need an elif for going right. So elif answer is equal to right. Then we are going to put in answer equals input. And now what's going to happen if you go right? So previously, if you go left, you come to a river. So now maybe you come to a bridge. So you come to a bridge. Um, it looks wobbly. How about that? It looks wobbly. So we're going to ask the player, do you want you want to cross it or head back? And in parentheses, I'm going to put in cross or back to make it clear on what they should type in here. So cross or back. And we're going to close this parentheses. There we go. Oh, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and go back to this if, if statements we have over here for going left. And after our if statements for going, you know, for swimming or going uh, to walk across around the river, I'm going to actually put in an else statement here. So this is going to tell the computer like what happens if the player chooses or types in something that's not even um, swim or walk. So if that's the case, then it's going to print out not a valid option. So you lose. I'm just going to make it where the player will lose if they type in a non-valid option. So make sure to add that because that will be important. Um, okay, so let's go back over here. So after that, we're going to click enter. And after, so now we need to add in our two if statements for either crossing the bridge or heading back, right? So same thing as we did for going left. So if answer is equal to um, cross, that's our first one. So if answer is equal to cross, then... Um, Okay, so we need to put in answer equals input. And then in parentheses, what's going to happen? So maybe you cross the bridge and uh, something happens. So, and you meet a stranger. You meet a stranger. So the question is, do you talk to them? Talk to them. So in parentheses, I'm going to put in yes or no. This is what the player will have to type in. Okay. So now we need to put in another one. So elif answer is equal to it was back. So if the player decides to head back, then um, we need to print out maybe just, I'm just going to make this simple. You go back and lose. I don't think I have to go into much detail here. So you go back and lose. So basically, if the player would have to choose um, cross to be able to go onto the next pathway and to actually try and win the game. Okay, so we're still not done yet because actually, you know what? I'm going to put this one second. So I'm gonna change this up. Okay, so I'm going to print this out right here. So basically what I just did here is I added cross, elif answer equals cross second, because we need to put in two other if statements here for if the player chooses yes or no. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, now that we fixed that, we need to put in our two if statements. So make sure you're still in that... Um, 
in the indentation. So as you can see, I'm still in the go elif answer equals right. So now what we need to do is put in another if statement. So if answer is equal to yes. So if the player chooses to talk to the stranger, then we need to print out something here. So maybe you talked to the stranger. Um, how about this is like the winning statement, right? So if you actually talk to the stranger, you will win the game because you talk to a stranger and they give you gold so you win awesome so now we need another um elif answer is equal to no so if the player says no if they don't want to talk to the stranger then we need to print out something saying you ignored the stranger I don't know. Um, and they got offended. They got offended. You lose. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I'm making these up um, right now. So they probably sound very silly. But it's going to be really fun to play. So now we need to add in our else statement. For that, I'm just going to copy print. This print function here that we used. So print, not a valid option. You lose. And now go ahead and click enter a few times and go back all the way so that there's no indentation. Here we're going to actually just copy the same thing, this else statement. And we need to paste it outside of all these if statements here. And guess what? We are now done with all the code we need to, um, you know, run this program. So I hope you guys, I mean, this was like a lot of code or a lot of typing because we needed to type all the paths you can choose or go on so how about there was a lot of print functions and if statements but now let's save this and how about we go ahead and run it so run run python file and terminal type your name neha okay how about i just clean this up a little bit so it's clear on what we're typing here okay so type your name neha Welcome, Neha, to this adventure. You are on a dirt road. It has come to an end, and you can go left or right. Which way would you like to go? So, so far, so good. I'm going to choose right. So, you come to a bridge. It looks wobbly. Do you want to cross it or head back? We're going to cross it. Obviously, we know the correct answers on how to get the gold. So, you cross the bridge, and you meet a stranger. Do you talk to them? Um, say yes. You talk to the stranger, and they give you gold. You win. Wow, this is super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, it's awesome, um, awesome job that you actually created your own adventure in Python. Go ahead and show this to your family members and your friends. They'll be very impressed with you of what you did in Python. Um, but this is super cool, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to NP Station. But that's all for today. Keep reading, keep coding, and stay safe.